Hello, I'm Dr. Jim Mulay. I'm the Associate Center Director for Translational Research at the Moffitt Cancer Center. The Moffitt Cancer Center is the only National Cancer Institute uh, designated comprehensive cancer center in the state of Florida. It has a history of translating basic discoveries in the laboratory into innovative clinical trials to offer to our patients. I am the recipient of one of the uh, V Foundation Awards. Uh, to date, over a period of near, nearly a decade, uh, the V Foundation has provided the Moffitt Cancer Center with 21 grants uh, totaling nearly $3.5 million. On behalf of the Moffitt Cancer Center, I would like to congratulate the V Foundation on its 20th anniversary. And now I would like to send the V off to Dr. Bill Jansen, who will tell you about the work he is doing. Well, hello, V. Welcome to the Cell Therapies Facility at the Moffitt Cancer Center. I'm Dr. William Jansen. I'm a senior member at the Moffitt Cancer Center and a member of the Department of Blood and Marrow Transplant. And I'm also the director of the Moffitt Cancer Center Cell Therapies Facility. Here in the Cell Therapies Facility, um, we are following in work that's actually been built in other areas of the Cancer Center using the help of V to create vaccines that will help patients to overcome their own cancer disease. So in earlier work, vaccines were, were developed using a special call, cell called a dendritic cell to help people's immune systems learn to recognize their cancers. We're now working with a, a specific disease called neuroblastoma, which only occurs in children. Neuroblastoma is a rare disease which is rarely cured. It represents 8% of all children's cancers, but 16% of all children's cancer deaths. What we are hoping to do is use a very special quality of neuroblastoma, which is that neuroblastoma cells have unique proteins that, like bacteria and viruses, could potentially be recognized by patients' immune systems. So using the dendritic cell vaccine that has been developed elsewhere using help from V, we are now going to be giving vaccines to children after they have received what is the current standard of care, which is high-dose radiation and chemotherapy, followed by a transplant from the child's own bone marrow. What we are hoping is that by giving these vaccines, we will stimulate the child's immune system to recognize their neuroblastoma and to prevent its recurrence which unfortunately now happens following transplant, sometimes in as few as one or two years. I'm honored to be the recipient of a V Foundation grant. Congratulations, V, on 20 years of fighting cancer. Don't give up, V. Don't ever give up. <laughs>